All right, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 6. And it says, For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourge every son whom he received. All right, Shalom Akim is a high spirit we in Judah of the GMS Mississippi camp, giving all honor glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakodash. I also want to give double honors to our apostles of great millstone who were well, and peace and blessings to the house of David the elect. All right, what we just read was in Hebrews, the 12th chapter and the 6th verse. All right, and I read it again. It's uh, Hebrews 12 and 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. All right, so what does it mean to chasten it? All right, it goes back to chastise, and this is the um, the word chastise. All right, in the etym uh, etymology online dictionary, and it says for chastise to inflict pain upon, to punish and recall to duty. It says to inflict pain upon and to punish and recall to duty. All right, so in this truth, Yahweh Shemashah woke us up. As soldiers, and as soldiers, we have duties in this truth. All right, we have a purpose, we have a mission. All right, and if we get sidetracked from that mission, Yahweh Bashma Shai with his heavenly hand, all right, will chat. That's if we're the hopeful elect, he'll inflict pain and punish us to get us back on track on the mission. And that could come in the form of losing a job that was a hindrance, losing your family. All right. Uh, losing something that's more uh, severe or more or less severe, all right? But the purpose of it is to get that soldier back on track to his duty, man, okay? So when something is going on in your life, all right, and it's becoming a hindrance to the word, and if you're the hopeful elect, if, it, if you are the elect, the Most High will chastise you and punish you to get your mind back on, on, on track, man. Because as men, we can all get distracted. So uh, this is the word chastise, all right, or chasteneth in the Greek. Strong's G, 3811. Pi duo. Pi duo. It's pi duo. And it says, in the outline of biblical usage, it says to train children, all right? Because we we, he did receive us as sons, right? So children really goes back to sons. To be instructed or taught or learned. To cause one to learn. Chastise. To chastise or castigate, or castigate with words to correct. Then it says, of those who are molding the character of others by reproof and admonition. So in, in another sense, you're being um, chastened. When you're being chastened, there's really your character being molded all right, through reproof and admonition. Then it says, of God. It says to chasten by the affliction of evils and calamities. All right. It says to, cha to chasten by the affliction of evils and calamities. So the most I can chastise you. All right. To put you through hell. All right. He'll put you through adversity or an episode of adversity. All right. With the intent. All right. To inflict pain upon to punish and recall to duty. All right, so if you're going in a direction that's deviating you from the truth, whether you know it or not, all right, the Most High can chastise you by sending, you know, making you um, experience an episode of afflictions with the intent to get you back on track to your duty, all right? Now, ultimately, we get chastised, all right, to get purified for the uh, the, the coming of your homicide. Because the word chasten, right, is where you get the word chase from. Because if I continue to read, it says chastise, to inflict pain upon, to punish and recall to duty, which is the first definition, to punish for the purpose of correcting or reclaiming. And the Most High does that by way of, let me go back to Blue Letter Bible. It says, of the Most High or of God, to chasten by the affliction of evils and calamities. All right, so that's the form of correction from Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, it says, all right, for the purpose of correcting or reclaiming. And he reclaimed us, but we have to go through a process of chastening. It says, to warn, advise, instruct, chastise, admonish, punish, dominate, tame. All right, um, 
Latin cast together to set or keep right to reprove, chasten, punish, literally, literally to make pure. Because when the most high chastises you, he, he's making you pure, man. All right. But when you're catching hell, the catching hell is a form of affliction. And that affliction is a form of chastening. And that chastening is in, with the intent to ultimately purify you for the um the coming of your house. And in a smaller sense, it's to correct you, man. Or it's to put you back on track to your duty. So let's say you got a woman. Are you in love with that woman? But you've been in love with that woman. You booed up. The most I see in the spirit. Oh, my, this, I gave this woman. My, I gave my servant this woman to balance him out. And he loved this damn creature more than the creator. He ain't doing videos. He ain't studying. I don't think he worried about is when she going to text him back. Now, if he's the elect, all right, the most I can make, put it in her mind to ghost you, man. You know, when I say ghost you, it means to, um, he'll, hey, well, ultimately, Ghost means to like just disappear for no reason, or the most I can set up a, a scenario that causes her to get uh, disenchanted by you and she leaves. But ultimately, in the spirit is because a lot of times you was more into her than you were in the scriptures, man. And yeah, how about Shemal Shah is a jealous power. Second example, you get a job, but and, they, and that job is relatively easy. You catch on fast. And you can use you, you might have gone an episode of being broke before you had the job, and now they're offering so much overtime to the point where now they want you to work on the days that you teach. You're not telling them no. You're not fighting a good fight of faith. All right. The most I make you fucking and get get your leg amputated, man. Get your foot amputated on the on the machine, man. Or all of a sudden there's a layoff and you're one of the men to get laid off. But the most I did that because if you're the elect. He's going to take things out of your life to keep you back on duty. Going back to the um, first definition on the Etamon dic Dictionary. Etamon Online for chastise. To inflict pain upon, to punish and recall to duty. All right? So if you're in this truth, you can't get so caught up in the affairs of this life that you forget your fucking mission, man. All right? And we all have done that, and we've all been reminded of hey, the mission. Okay? Let me get that, all right? Simple scriptures, but important scriptures, you know? Simple yet important. 2 Timothy 2 and 4. No man that warreth, going back to a soldier and his duties, right? A soldier, he's in the middle of a war, and this is a war. It's a spiritual war. It's a war for truth and waking up our people to their nationality and exposing wicked Esau Edom, man. All right, 2 Timothy 2 and 4. No man that worrieth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him. I read that again. That he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. And a soldier has duties. A soldier has a mission. And if that soldier is being sidetracked and he's going AWOL, then the Most High will chastise you or inflict punishment upon you are right, with the intent to get you back on your duty, get you back on a mission. Because you can't get entangled without in, the intent of being entangled. You can just get caught up in some BS, man. But that's why the scripture says, examine thyself whether thou be in the faith, man. So there was this movie I was watching the other day called Why Do Fools Fall in Love? And I'm quite sure a lot of you brothers saw this movie. All right, and there was one scene where Lorenz Tate, which he played the character Frankie Lyman, all right, uh, he was uh dealing with his third woman, all right, um, played by Leela Rashan. That's how you pronounce her name. But the character was called Emerald Eagle. And long story short, you know, he was dealing with her. He was planting in her garden, and he was building a fence for her. And, you know, basically they were in a honeymoon phase. But then the, um, the military came by his house, and then they basically he got charged for going AWOL because he had been missing for the military, for, missing from the military, for four months after he got drafted, all right, basically dealing with this damn woman. So with the with the uh, men in the military, what they did, they literally snatched him up from his woman and put him back in the jeep and sent them back off to the military, man. All right, and that was a form of chastening, man. So he had a duty that he had to fulfill, and we have a duty that we have to fulfill. And if there are certain things in our life, all right. There's overshadowing our duty, all right? 
the most I can take those things from us or take us from those things with the sole intent to get us back on duty because we got drafted in the spirit, man. Going back to the definition, chastise, etymology online, to inflict pain upon, to punish, and recall to duty. To inflict pain upon, to punish, and recall to duty, man. And when you're going through, when you're going through things, you catching hell, it could be you getting purified for something that you did in your past life or something that you did in general, or it could be the most high is shaking your butt up to get you back online with this truth, man. All right? Because you can't be worried about stuff in the world or worried about things in your life that the most high gave to you. What did the most high tell Ezra? You know, I'm just going to get it because I don't want to chop it up. I don't want to. I think I, I think I wrote it down anyway. You know, second Ezra's eight and forty-seven. So I'm just gonna get it, you know, because you know you're human, you know. But we we have we have duties, man. All right. Second Ezra. All right. Eight. Forty-seven. Our right, second Ezra eight Salak. Just bear with me one second. All right. I'm just gonna get the um get the build up, then I'm gonna get to the point. Second Ezra eight and uh forty two. I answered then and said, This is Ezra talking to the most high. I answered then and said, If I have found grace, let me speak. Like as the husband's husband man see pe perish. If it come not up and receive not thy rain in due season, or if there come too much rain and corrupt it, even so perish man also, which is formed with thy hands, and is called thy own image, because thou art like unto him, for whose sake thou hast made all things, and like him unto the husband man's seed. Because the most high is the husband man, and we're his seed in the spirit, you know. Be not wroth with us, but spare thy people, and have mercy upon thy own inheritance. For thou art merciful unto thy creature. So Ezra is asking the Most High to have mercy on all of Israel. Okay? Verse 46. Then answered he me and said, Things present are for the present, and things to come for such as to be come. For thou comest far short, that thou shouldest be able to love my creature more than I. But I have often, I have oft times drawn not unto thee and unto it, but never to the unrighteous. So the most high answered Ezra and said, You coming far short if you thinking you can love his creature more than him. But the most high set up the creature to get destroyed temporarily and come back into the kingdom. But you can't be worried about is your mom gonna make it? Did she take did she take the jab? All right. Dang, she took the jab. Now you all messed up in the head. Because as a soldier, you gotta already accept that your people might get destroyed. Now it's easy to say it. But to accept it, that's a whole different ball game, man. Damn, my wife took it. Hey, man. Hey, remember Lot's wife, man. All right, because we look in the head. We just we want to complete the mission. We want the kingdom, man. They cannot take it and still get destroyed by missiles. All right, but this is a pill that we swallow when we first woke up, man. What about my little ones, man? You, the mother, of your little ones might get in a job. All right, but you gotta be, hey, believe your how about your size and control, man. And anything that happened, it's supposed to happen. And there's only so much you can do. And if it's only so much you can do, then why are you even worried about certain things, man? We have a mission to look ahead. Okay? Um, I'm, I'm going to get back to the point. All right? Let me go back to um, Hebrews. Going back to chastening. Like I said, you, most I can chasten you because you're getting sidetracked sidetrack excuse me from your mission all right you you've gone a wall because you got distracted in some nonsense in the world all right something that the most i gave you and you forgot about the person you got you're more into your toy than the dad that gave you the toy okay like the dad is calling you you still gotta clean up your room you still gotta do your homework you just want to play with your toy all day so what do you think your dad is going to do? That's right. He's going to take them damn toys, man. Okay? But we can't get so caught up into our hell that we forget why we're catching hell. All right? And we'll get so grieved and depressed. Now, it's going to be vexing because it's a form of affliction. 
Afflict means to strike, but you still have to know why it's happening, man. And I'm going to get this scripture to keep com coming into my spirit. Um, Get it right here. All right. Token. Tribulation. King James. Yup. This is a... Uh, Second Thessalonians, I'm just going to view chapter, let me see. Second Thessalonians, I hope this is the King James, yeah, Khan. Um, Second Thessalonians, uh, I'm going to start at uh, verse 4. Second Thessalonians 1 and 4. So that we ourselves glory in you and the churches of Yahweh for your patience, and patience means to suffer, and faith in all your persecutions, and tribulations that you endure. So we're all allotted uh, tribulations, man. We're all allotted persecutions, man. All right? We, we, that's something you have to excel. We all have that, man. Which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of Yahweh, that you may be kind of worthy of the kingdom of Yahweh, for which ye also suffer. Because what did Big Brother say? If you suffer with me, you shall reign with me, man. But it said in verse 5, which is a manifest token, which means this is a, a, main, a, a made token. This is proof that you're being purged and purified for the coming of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I'm sorry, for the coming of Yahweh Shai, man. All right? And then on another level, that if you're being sidetracked, the most I send you calamities and send you evils really to get you back on duty. Hey, but, uh, but, uh, but with that being said, you know, I'm going to go in this lesson. Hope you brothers and sisters were edified. Once again, I want to give all under glory to you. How about Shema Shai? By Shem Rakaako Dash. Double understood our apostles of great millstone rule well. Peace and blessings to the house of David the elect. And with that, a Bible, a Bible, come out, Shalom.